Taiwanese car manufacturer Hertai Motor has launched a brand new taxi hailing platform, Yuxi Fleet. It aims to have 2,000 vehicles on the streets by the end of 2020. Rival car maker Yulon is also assembling an electric taxi fleet, which will head out under the banner of the Line taxi platform. Experts say the partnerships could usher in a new era for the industry. A sticker as big as the car body is stuck on, then the taxi light. When the makeover is complete, the driver hops in and gets straight to it. Hertai Motor has entered the taxi car market with its new Yushi brand. All its vehicles are under five years old. When you order a cab, you can click no chat please or no music thank, and the company is quoting drivers as well as customers. 80% of Taiwan's taxis use their vehicles. They've put out a special offer to draw drivers into the Yushi fold. In the past, we had competition between industries. Now you see some technologies that come all in, but they don't compete with you directly. They're destructive innovations, so your competitor has become invisible. This trend has made Japanese factories start to transition from production to mobility services. Hertai is not just interested in the taxi market. They're aiming at the mobile economy, advertising, user habits, big data from vehicles, and new opportunities in payment services. Not to be outdone, Yulong features electronic cars in its fleet, which will launch this month in collaboration with Line Taxi. The two big automakers have set their sights on the mobile industry, from taxi services to the vehicles themselves. For such big companies to try to get into the taxi services industry at this time, I'm sure they must have spotted some problems for drivers. Of course, we see lots of gigantic platforms now, with a lot of diverse services. But perhaps some drivers still feel dissatisfied with some of these things. New platforms have certainly brought new options to drivers and riders alike. Taiwan is home to many platforms, Taiwan Taxi with 22,000 cabs, M Taxi with 10,000, Uber with 6,000 vehicles, and now since 2019, Line Taxi with 6,000 cars. They're going all out to win rides, offering services like breakdown relief or even emergency rescue. It's market competition. If there's a restaurant here and another one opens next door, what's the problem? It's providing another option for taxi services, another choice for consumers. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Yulong and Hertai have the cars already, and as they bring their big data, payment services and customers as well, they could make big waves as they pair up with taxi platforms.